it with music, beautiful music. Hello, I'm Fred Miller, and this is yet another one of my lectures in song. And before we launch into uh, a look at some of the great songs that came after the Beatles arrived, um, a little bit of information about me. I was born in Albuquerque, had a wonderful classical piano teacher. I was into Bach, Beethoven, and Brahms. I loved grand opera. And then, right on my 13th birthday, the Beatles arrived, and then I was my musical horizons expanded to include the great rock songs of the 60s as well as the classical music. That would go on through high school until the summer after I graduated, um, I hitchhiked with a friend from New Mexico to the Woodstock Festival. I even showed up in the poster very prominently. I was really there. But that was it for rock music. I knew somehow instinctively that was going to be the peak of it. It was never going to get better than that, and it really devolved, I think, from there anyway. I was going to go to college. I went briefly, but then left, traveled around the country, finally settled in Greenwich Village, and at some point somebody gave me an album of Ella Fitzgerald singing Cole Porter, and here I am, the world of Gershwin, Porter, Kern, Rogers, Berlin, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland, Ethel Merman, Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, the great singable songs of the of the 20th century. Um, initially, you know, I, 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 was, I just wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. I, I came up with the idea of a lecture and song, each one being a profile of a great personality or some aspect of American popular song. And I started with six programs, and now to date I have 75 different lectures and song, each one described in detail at fredmillermusic.com. Uh, I did... You know, if you look at my website, you'll see I have songwriters and I have performers and I have novelties and what have you. And, but I also decided to divide American history into six parts initially, initially six parts, going back to the very beginning, era by era. And finally, just I decided to end it with the Beatles when they arrived in 1964, uh, figuring, oh, that's the end of American popular song. But then I relented thinking, oh, maybe there's at least a program's worth of really good music after the Beatles arrived. And indeed there is. And of course, it's going to include the Beatles themselves. That's what we're looking at right here. Um, this is the music that I was alive. You know, I was actually witnessed this stuff when it was new, Not, unlike all this other music that was done mostly before I was even conscious or sort of even before I was born. I remember vividly and it had to have been I would say probably January or something like that of 1964 uh, everybody was still just living in shock over the Kennedy assassination and something came along as it happened to be I was I was it was January I think it was had to have been and I remember my brother telling me hey come here and listen to this I walked down the hall I'm looking in the room into his room I can see my mother's green Bakelite radio blasting this out and I was dumbfounded. Oh yeah, I tell you something, I think you'll understand. When I say that something, I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your I would never be the same musically speaking. I said at the time, I said, that's the best song I've ever heard. And, and I think the whole the world thought so too as well. It was a new sound and, uh, you know, the <laughs> the quality of it. I mean, this was, a, it was in the form of old music. It's, Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. Tomorrow I'll miss you. Remember I'll always be true. And then while I'm away, I'll ride home every day, and I'll send all my lovin' to you. And also had a bridge. All my lovin' I will send to you. All my lovin', darling, I'll be true. And it was so pretty, so, so romantic. You'll never know how much I really love you. You'll never know how much I really care Listen Do you wanna know a secret? 